Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and it's cast time once again. Um, and let me intro this music real quick. Uh, this is gonna be Deserted Red Planet STC Expedition. Uh, just... It's a space ambient music. And then, um... And then this one here, this is from a web... Not a website, uh, from a channel called Prometheus Studios. And I keep forgetting that this is this is the channel here where the music on it is free to use as long as your videos aren't being monetized. So as all of my videos are Creative Commons videos, then this this is perfect. Um, on the downside, though, the uh, the only kind of the only kind of music that they have on here is like the 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 dark monk the dark monk chants. You know, the, You know that kind. That kind. That's all they got on this channel. Um, that and this uh, deserted red planet one here. But otherwise, um, I think I might have said this before and saw my other cast. But oh, here, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me let me get the music going. Well, let me wind it back here before I get a little too ahead of myself. But yeah, it was like I was saying though. I think more channels need to do this. Or at the very least, they need to be more clear on a, on how they handle copyright. Like, is it is it free to use? Is it this? Is it free to use? Is it copyrighted? You know that kind of thing. Instead of uh, leaving me in the dark, to where it's a where I'm having a basically gamble. I mean, you know. I mean, I'm, on one end, you know, in the black and white, I kind of understand, you know, better safe than sorry. I mean, if it um, if it doesn't say either or, then, you know, you probably want to play it safe and just not, not play it at all. But the problem with that is, is I wouldn't be playing a whole lot of music then. Because as far as I know, Prometheus Studios is uh, the only channel I can, I can rem think of right now that actually states it. Actually, wait, 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 I take that back, I take that back. Um, there's a few other channels, I can't remember their names, but they will, they will state in the description, this music is copyrighted, or it'll say, license to YouTube, but there's not a whole lot of channels that'll do that. They just post it up, don't, you know, don't, don't state either or in the description, so again, I'm, you know, I'm kind of left in the dark on it, but again, um, I mean, when in doubt, I'll play it anyway. I mean, because again, like like I said a few moments ago, um, you know, if I decided to play it safe, I won't be playing a whole a whole wide variety of different types of music. Then, you know, I'd just be going with Prometheus Studio stuff. But like I said, all they really really play is you know the dark chants and stuff like this um, there's another there's another big time dark ambient channel called cryo chamber I don't I last I looked they're they're one of those they they don't state whether or not their stuff is copyrighted or free to use so but like I also like I said a few moments ago sorry to sound like a broken record I'll gamble because sometimes the music they play on there is just too good to pass up. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, for my for my stream yesterday though, played some more Windjammers too, and I did pretty damn good. Um, for online mode, or you know where you're actually playing against real life players, uh, I, was, I was roughly 50-50. Um, win some, lose some. Um, I ended up bailing out of one of them because uh, my opponent, I actually uh, I had this problem like a few days ago too. He would, uh, I mean, the guy would just easily score on me, like just throw, chuck a disc right by me. I wouldn't even see it coming. But then he would turn around and just sandbag around and let me score on him, which I find very disrespectful. So, so yeah, I, I ended up eating the loss and leaving. And then, um, I had a, I actually had a guy that, um, oh, what was 
Walter, Walter, Walter. Yeah, I'll... But yeah, um, when I was, um, when I was playing, um, Guilty Gear Rev 2, I had a guy who came on, I had a guy, I had a guy that came on there, and he just, you know, he was helping me out, the guy was, uh, he was pretty much a pro at the game, giving me advice, and he was, uh, he was also talking about what's called the Frosty Fostings Tournament. Um, I, apparently that tournament, uh, at least as of yesterday, was going on as we spoke. So and I guess uh I guess Rep 2 was part of the tournament. So I thought that was kinda cool. But um be but before I continue on Yeah, I'll I I do kinda want to explain a little bit. Okay, uh, we got... I need to look at something. Because I am getting no sound. I got no sound on my headphones. Hold on. I don't need this. This shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it worked just fine yesterday. But we're still working on it. Okay, I guess I uh, won't be demoing this game unless you want to hear a... Okay. But, um... Like, but like I said, I don't... I have no way of knowing uh, whether or not I have sound in this game. Let me try this. Let me, uh... Yeah. It's... Well, I uh, guess I won't be showing any of this game then. Well, so much for that. Uh, but anyway, what I was going to do is I was just going to do a quick gameplay on my new, probably, um, at least as of right now, my new main, her name's Jacko. Uh, she's, she's basically, uh, a Halloween themed character. Those that have seen my stream have, have seen me play her a fair amount. So, but like, a, but like I said, I don't know what happened to the sound. It, I mean, it, not much reason why it wouldn't be working. Fuck the hell out of me. But I'm on my OBS right now. Um, trying to see if there's anything I do to fix it, but apparently not. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. So, but anyway, um, 
during my stream, he was talking about uh, the Frost, the Frosty Fossings tournament that uh, XR was, or that uh, Rev Two was on. Um, I actually went on YouTube to look for it, but uh, apparently uh, must be happening at a different time in the tournament or something. But one thing I did find though is, uh, huh? Already, they got a uh, they got a Windjammers Two tournament. I'm like, damn, that didn't take long. I mean, the the game's only been out maybe a couple weeks. And uh, they're already, I mean, they already have a tournament for it. I mean, I'll grant it. Um, Frosty Fostings, I don't, it's definitely not a worldwide tournament like Evil or anything like that. I'm thinking it's a regional. But still, it's pretty, pretty damn impressive for a game that's only been out for a super short time. I think uh, usually, usually the way games kind of progress in tournaments are kind of the way uh, people progress in tournaments. You know, you you play, uh, you always start learning a game at home, and then when you start getting better, you know, you start doing online tournaments. You know, and then at some point later on, you do, uh, you maybe do like local offline tournaments, you know, the kind where you you actually go, drive to the tournament and you actually play a human being right next to you, that kind of thing. You know, you do a local like that, and then at some point in the future, you 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 decide you might want to do, you know decide to do a regional. You know, and you keep doing that until you get better and better, and then eventually you'll make it to the big one. You know, Evo. You know, but there's like this you know long process involved. I thought uh, I think usually usually uh games go through that go through that kind of cycle too. You know, it it starts off not very popular. You know, maybe do like these little baby online tournaments or something. You know, not a whole lot of people in attendance. Then eventually it gets upgraded to regionals and, you know, you know, the same process. But no, you know, again, that's a process that I think usually takes months. It takes months to get there, but not this time. So I found that to be pretty cool. And yeah, I, and yes, as you probably expect, yeah, I did watch, I did watch part of this tournament. And I saw that, I'm like, I have no freaking prayer in the, against these guys. I mean, they're, I mean, their controllers and reflexes are way better than mine. I probably played a few of these uh, tournament players too online. No, they handed me a, they handed me my ass in a high hat several times, so. Um, but let me go back. I really wish I knew what happened. Yeah, it's it's like I have no sound. I mean, if I'd have known this is gonna happen, I would have I would have tested this, would have tested this before I did my cast. Yeah, cause it just it just doesn't feel right, you know, without any sound. But I guess while I'm here. One of the reasons why I went with Jacko is because of the color. Um, just, you know, completing, uh, you know, various game modes and whatnot, you get it, you get in-game currency. You can, I guess I can show you. Um, yeah, there it is. You can go fishing and you can, come on. You know, something like that. But it kind of works the same way that a Dragon Ball Fighters works. You can kind of do that as well. Get in-game currency and you can buy random stuff with it.
But again, one of the reasons why I'm going with Jacko now is because of the color. It's like, holy shit, that looks awesome. And plus, um, let me go ahead and do a random pick because, you know, matter, answer. Well, I guess he's got a new color too. Jackal versus answer. And again, I have no sound in my I have no sound in my headphones, and I don't know if it's actually a present in the game. But one of the re one of the other reasons I'm going with her is because most of her special moves don't require me to mangle the shit out of my controller in order to pull off. The only exception is going to be something like that, down back. And then there's a uh, Forever Elysium Driver. But uh, it's uh, it's Rotate One Circle, but uh, the, the, the guy that was on my stream yesterday, he was um, he was telling me this too. You don't even have to do the full 360. You can just do like a like a three quarter circle, and it'll work. You know, and you can down down twice. You know, you can summon minions, and they'll. that that's the big power move and um but uh most of what she does consumes tension set them off as bombs oh uh, in guilty gear strive she does the same thing you can crouch down she'll stick her ass in the air yeah, that's not fan service. But like, uh, then, um, like I said, a lot of her moves. Like I said, I don't, I can't hear any sound at all on my headphones. But, uh, like I was trying to say a few moments ago, in the lower left corner, you build tension, one, by moving forward, and you also get build tension by attacking. So, it's kind of your standard issue, uh, Like I said, a lot of her, um, a lot of these kind of moves will use up your tension meter. So that's kind of the downside to her having, uh, easy inputs. This is so gonna jack up my file size. So, 
But anyway. Just wanted to do a, a quick gameplay demo on her. So. Um, but otherwise, uh, that's about it. I don't, I don't really have a whole lot else, so. This probably would have been, this probably would have been a lot shorter if, um, if I'd have known I was going to have some problems with that game. So, could have tested it out, or could have tested it out beforehand, but. As the old saying goes, shit happens. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. Hopefully, I'll have better content then. But but until then, though, take care, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.